Hello guys, my name is Pius Katis and in the previous video we saw how to use Crutter to automatically register services that implement a generic interface. Today we will try to achieve that writing our own code. I will use the same project but there is no need to watch the previous video since we are going to take a look at it right now. So I have a models uh, folder with uh, a house model with an ID and an address and a person with an ID and a first name. In my repositories folder, I have a I repository which is a generic interface and uh, two methods: the add async and the get by id async. And uh, we have two inheritors: the house repository that implements the I repository of house. And uh, for our data, we use a static list uh, of houses, as you can see. And the same with the people. And the people repository implements the I repository of person. Uh, then in our program.cs we have two endpoints, one for getting a house by the ID and uh, one for getting the person from the ID. And we have this extension method to our service collection called add repositories. And as you can see in here we register our repositories. We could uh, manually register that as the commented code uh, shows one by one but because this could uh, become very lengthy and we had uh, to go and manually add each repository we use Scratcher and automatically register all the repositories that's uh, the code for that I explained that in uh, the previous video and uh, as always in this channel uh, when uh, we use a package with some good capabilities we try to implement them ourselves at a basic level at least and uh, we can always optimize them later we have already implemented our own request dispatcher or mediator if you want and our own request pipeline from scratch I'll put the links in the description but now let's go and implement our own automatic uh, registering so I will rename this class I will call that um, I don't know naming is always the difficult part call it register extensions although it's uh, an extension to the iSaves collection but let's worry about the naming later and um, and then we will call that method just register okay and uh, we want to remove all of this code and uh, we also in here we need to accept the generic interface uh, that the services we want to register implement so let's have a type and call that generic interface okay also also we need the the lifetime that we want to register the service so let's go and uh, make a public in um, lifetime and let me copy and paste the singleton scope and transient okay so let's accept that as well now let's take the assembly let's assume that uh, the assembly that the generic interface leaves is the same uh, with the services so let's say var assembly equals with generic interface dot assembly and let's fix the typo now we need a list of types to hold the interface types in our case the i repository of house and the i repository of person so let's say var interface types equals with new list of type now we need to iterate through all uh, the types of our application so let's say for each uh, type in assembly.getTypes and now let's take uh, the interface we are interested in so let's say interfaces.addRange and now in each of the type we need uh, to get the interface of the type so type get interfaces and now we need to limit them to the ones that are generic so is generic type and uh, and also that uh, generic type 
should be the generic type that we accept so let's say x dot get generic type definition equals with the, the generic interface type so let's see what we did there let's go back to our people repository and imagine that we had another interface let's say i test and another uh, generic interface i test to of a person why not so when we go to examine the people repository we will take all the interfaces and that uh, where x is generic type we limit them to the i repository of person and the i test to of person so we will not uh, take the i test and then that x uh, get generic type definition uh, that we need to be equal with the generic type that we accept so in our scenario the i repository we will limit them to i repository of person so we will exclude that as well and now we will have all our interfaces so now let's iterate to them so for each interface in interfaces let's take the class that implemented interface so let's say var class equals with assembly dot get types and since we use it uh, two times let's extract to a variable so let's say var all types equals with assembly dot get types and now let's use that all types So in all these types, give me the first that is assignable to our interface. So x is assignable to our interface. So let's uh, take the people repository for example. If uh, the interface that uh, we are examining right now is the i repository of person we will get the, the first class that implements that interface in our case the people repository so now our interface is uh, the i repository of person and the class is the people repository so now we need to register that so let me copy and paste a, a private method that is just a switch statement based on the lifetime And let's import the namespace for the unreachable exception okay so here we have the type of the interface the type of the class the services and the lifetime and based on the lifetime we add uh, that class with its interface a singleton scope or transient so let's call that method in here we'll say register and we will pass the interface the class the services and the lifetime And uh, all should be good now. So finally, let's return our services. And now all we have to do is uh, back to our program.cs to pass the type of the generic interface. So let's say type of i repository and also the lifetime. Let's say scope. And everything should work fine. Let's try to debug that. Let's put a breakpoint in here, for example. Let's debug that. So the interface in here, as you can see, is the I repository of house. Let's take the class and the class is uh, the house repository. So we'll go and register that and, we'll do the, and it will do the same for the people repository. So let's hit continue and let's test that we will uh, try to get the house with id of one and we got it back and we'll try to get the person with id one and we got that back so everything worked as expected and now it's time we add a new repository that implements the generic i repository uh, we won't have to write uh, any code to register it the code we just wrote will take care of it and that's all I had for this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a nice one.